Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about series and parallel circuits. In previous videos I've talked about Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's law and I'm going to be using them here to help me analyse a few circuits and get a few rules. So here I have a series circuit and Kirchhoff says that in one loop all the potential must be used up. So I know that I've been given 10 volts of potential difference and when I come across here, I must lose some potential and then I must use some more potential over here, but it must be coming back to have zero potential. So I know each of these is going to have an individual amount, but to work that out, I'm going to need to have the current going through them. So this is a series circuit. The current that flows around this is the same. So the current is constant. It is voltage that is shared. I'm going to write PD, potential difference. Okay. So I need to find the total resistance of this. So since these are in series, these are both affecting the current together. Therefore, the total resistance is R1 plus R2 keeps going on, depending how many resistors you had. You just add them together. So in this case, it is 10 plus 30, which is 40 ohms. I know that my total voltage is 10 volts. So using Ohm's law of V equals I R, I know that 10 equals I times 40. So I equals 10 over 40, which is 0.25 amps. So I know in this circuit, there is 0.25 amps. So, to work it out, this 10 ohm resistor has this much current going through it. So, potential is 0.25 times by 10, which is 2.5 volts. Now, to find the potential in this one, I could use two different things. I could use Kirchhoff's voltage law and go 10 minus 2.5 is 7.5 volts. Or I could use Ohm's law again and have V equals 30 times by 0.25, which also equals 7.5 volts. So this is actually using Ohm's law and using um, Kirch or using Kirchhoff's voltage law. You're welcome to use either method. Now in a parallel circuit, I'm going to explain it using Kirchhoff's voltage law. And Kirchhoff's voltage law, remind you, in one loop, okay, I must lose the potential I have. So if this is 10 volts, again, this is a loop, and this is a loop. I can't go back on myself, it's not how it works. You have to go from positive to negative. Positive to negative, okay? So what that means is that this 10 volts must be used up on this 10 ohm resistor. So the voltage on parallel branches is constant. However, I've got some nodes, so my current will split up. So my current is split. So I'm going to do two methods here. Okay. I am going to label that this one is A and this one is B. And I'm going to write a table out. So I've got V, I've got total. A and B, got V, I and R. So in total I have 10 volts, 
and I know that A has 10 and B has 10. I know the resistance of A is 10 and I know the resistance of B is 30. And I'm going to work out using Ohm's law because I know the voltage, the potential difference across it, and I also know the resistance. So I can use I is V over R. So 10 divided by 10 is 1. And 10 divided by 30 is a third. So I know going down here is 1 amp. And going down here is a third of an amp. Which means in total, if we use Kirchhoff's current law, I must have one and a third amp, or four thirds of an amp. I now know the voltage. I now know the current. I can work out the resistance. So 10 divided by four divided by three is 7.5 ohms. Another way that you could have found this information out is using the resistors in parallel formulae. 1 over RT is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Don't carry on. So 1 over RT oops, is 1 over 10 plus 1 over 30 which equals 3 over 30 plus 1 over 30. So that's 4 over 30. OK. And that, importantly, is 1 over RT. I then have to flip it. So RT is 30 over 4, which is 7.5. Oh, uh, sorry. Exactly what I found up here. So it's really interesting that Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's law are related to each other and can be used. What's the important thing about parallel and series circuits is that in a parallel circuit, the potential, the energy is shared. So if I was to have two identical light bulbs in this position, they would share the energy between them. If I was to put them in parallel like this, they would have more potential. They would not have to share the 10 volts, they'd get all of it, which means they have more energy, which means these bulbs are brighter. However, one of the things you might notice is that the current, even though I've used a 10 and a 30, a 10 and a 30, the current in this one is 0.25 amps, and the current in this one is 4 over 3 amps. So there's much more current in this. And this is important. You may have been told never to daisy chain um, uh, extension leads. And the reason being is because when you add something to your extension lead, you're just adding something in parallel. When you add something in parallel, your device will have the same potential, as potential difference as everything else. 230 volts, 50 volts, whatever. But the more you add, the current will increase. And because the, because the, the reason for this is the overall resistance decreases. If you keep adding things and daisy chaining and going off there, you will have a point where you have so much current that you overload the circuit and it blows the circuit. And this is what can cause fires and your fuses to blow and electrocution. So this is why you should never daisy chain um, extension leads. But that is the formula for series and parallel for series and parallel resistors, as well as looking at how you can use Kirchhoff's law to help you solve these questions. In my next video, I'm going to be doing a large circuit and analysing different parts of that.